Today on Forbes, this startup built a hospital in India to test its AI software. As longtime cancer doctors with regulatory experience, Pi Health co founders Jeff Kim and Bobby Reddy knew that completing clinical trials took far too long. There was the painfully slow process of signing up patients, and after that, a grueling slog through vast swamps of data to prepare voluminous regulatory filings, something that few hospitals and clinics can handle. The pair knew their startup's best chance of success meant doing an end run around all that. So they did something audacious and unprecedented. They built their own cancer hospital in India. Clinical trials are an enormous bottleneck in drug development, and Kim and Reddy thought the AI-enabled software they'd been building at Pi Health could help do them faster and cheaper by expanding the pool of potentially eligible patients. But the majority of clinical trials today are done in top-notch academic medical centers, and first they needed to prove that their AI-enabled software could help overseas hospitals and smaller community cancer centers handle the documentation required to get through regulatory approval. So they found a site in Hyderabad, a major technology and pharmaceutical center in southern India, and built a 30-bed, state-of-the-art cancer hospital. Pi Health Cancer Hospital opened in September 2023 and began running clinical trials last year. It's participated in eight so far, including one that helped lead to a drug for head, neck, and lung cancer, being approved in India just seven months after the first Indian patient was enrolled in the study. That's less than half the time such a process would typically take, and a major validation point for the software, one that Kim and Reddy believe will help them attract more customers. Kim, the company's CEO, told Forbes, quote, We are trying to do everything in our power to make this a much more efficient process. There are all these new and exciting ways to attack cancer. If we can do the clinical trials faster and cheaper and get therapies out to patients, we want to do it now because there are people waiting right now. Only 8% of cancer patients in the U.S. participate in clinical studies, in part because of the voluminous paperwork required to run them. That limits understanding of the disease and the way that it affects diverse populations, and also means drug approvals take longer and cost more than they would if the limited pool of patients weren't a bottleneck. Pi Health software aims to lower the burden. It combines all clinical trial data into one place, streamlining workflows and reducing errors, starting with the trial design and continuing through regulatory submission. It uses artificial intelligence to check for discrepancies and errors in data and to produce automated notes with clinical documentation from regulatory-grade data. To date, the Cambridge, Massachusetts-based startup has raised some $40 million at a valuation of nearly $100 million. It is generating revenue with signed contracts of more than $70 million. And it is working on nearly 20 clinical studies for five global pharmaceutical companies, including for B1 Medicines, formerly B-Gene, the $30 billion market cap cancer drug developer where Pi Health was incubated and which still owns a roughly 40% stake in the business. Kim, who is 48 years old, and Reddy, who is 40, launched Pi Health as an initiative at B-Gene, which they joined in 2019 after pitching the idea that became Pi Health to CEO John Euler. Kim, an oncologist, had previously worked for the Food and Drug Administration as a medical officer and director of oncology products for seven years. Reddy is an attending physician at Massachusetts General Hospital's Melanoma and Pigmented Lesion Center. They first met when Kim was a fellow at the National Cancer Institute, and Reddy was a research scholar at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute some 15 years ago. Kim subsequently recruited Reddy to work on his regulatory team at AstraZeneca in 2019, and they joined BGene later that year. Kim said, quote, I was really struck by how expensive these studies were. Everything that was said about the cost of clinical trials and why it was the bottleneck to clinical development was true. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.